Bokotov, Shavuotov, today's stop is the Chof in Nazir. <laughs> we said we'll stop from the top of the page, but let's quickly look at the Mishnah so we'll understand what the t- discussion is here. The Mishnah on Yud Testament Beis. Mishnah is in the Zirus Harbe, a person had, <clears throat> um, had uh, promised, had vowed to long, a long Nazirus. Some have the Lashon of Nazirus Maruba. Doesn't mean multiple Nazirus, it means one long Nazirus. The Hishlam is Nazirus, and he finished it. Then he came to Eretz Israel. In other he did in Chutzlars. So we have Machok, so we have Shami, and Basil. Shami says, Nazir Shloshim, and Basil Loman, Nazir Betchila. What happened? Chutzlars is considered to be Tome, not Tome, but a rice, just because he went into Chutzlars. But the rabbis were going there because the Goyim, you might have touched the um, uh, the uh, kever of a Goy, even though we hold that uh, we have Mahmoud that even a Goy's uh, kever is Matame Ba'oel. But even, but certainly Metamid Araisa, if you touch the dead body, okay, so we're not sure you didn't, let's say you didn't go to, you didn't go to, a, to a cemetery, but you might have touched it, they buried them all over the place, we don't know. So the rabbis were goes that if you go to Chutzlar, it's your tummy, your tummy, it's not a tummy del Raisa, but your rabbis were goes there, they tell me. Now the question is, we'll see how far they went. We were goes because maybe you touched the ground, maybe you stepped on one, or they were so machma that even the air, even if you went into the airspace, that's also considered Tomei. So the rabbi said, you know what? If you're a Nazar in Chutzlaretz, you're Tomei. You got to start over. What did we talk about the previous Mishnah? If you were in a basic forest and you took upon the Zerus, right? You're Tomei, right? You're already, you're already high up in the three prohibitions. You got to start all over again. When you come out, you retire yourself. So here also, if you're in Chutzlaretz, it's like you're in a basic forest. And, um, you know, you know what your punishment is when you come, you have to come there to Israel, start all over again. But you can never retire yourself in Chutzlar. That's correct. So, so how do you have to become a non-do that? No, you no. So you're yeah, it's all it's only drop on it. Never finish. It's never finished. You have to keep on go, going. In other words, you you uh, you you're you're uh, correct. It's like you're it's like it's like you're in a basic forest. Meaning you have to keep the prohibitions and then you start all over again when you come to Eretz Yisrael. Mm-hmm. If you never leave Chutzlar, it's so the rabbi said, you know, that's your punishment. Your punishment is that basically you have to be a Nazir continuously. So Misha Nazir and Azir is hard, but the Hishlam is in Gros Vachka Ballards. The Shami says Nazir Shloshim Vesalorim, Nazir Bechil. It could very, could be that in Chutz, if you ever leave Chutz Laret, so you did your Naziris for whatever it was, it says the Hishlam, Essen Zirus and Chutz Laret, Vachka Ballards, it's Mashma that you could finish it. And then it's, the Xer really wasn't that you have to keep it, be a Nazir forever in Chutz Laret. But you didn't really fulfill your Nazirus obligation properly. And therefore, the rabbi said, when you come to Eretz Yisrael, you have to start all over again. But when you start all over again, it doesn't mean all over again. But Shabbat still says, I start all over again. The Shammai says, no, it's just do 30 days. It's just, a, it's a knas. It's not really, you're really only a Nazir. The time in Chutzah, it's whatever your Nazirus was. 30 days, a year, two years, whatever you said. But if you said more than, if you did more than a regular Nazirus, more than zero space. If it's only 30 days, there's no machlok. I mean, he also says that the knas is only 30 days. Space says whatever your zero was, but if it's if they're both of them are 30 days, there's no machlok. The difference is if you were more than 30 days. So Beishame says you only have to do 30 days when you come to Eretz Yisrael, purify yourself, and and um, and for example, when Beishame says purify yourself, it wouldn't mean that you have to bring a carbon the zeros. Anyway, it's not like you were in a basic forest. If you were a base course when you accept the Nazirus, we learned that you don't bring your Kabars in. You just have to keep the prohibitions and you have to and you have to um be matar yourself, uh go to the mikvah on the seventh day. So here too, you wouldn't be required to bring a carbon, but you have to start all over again, according to Basil, according to Meshami, you do 30 days. Then he tells you a story. Maisa Bihomia Malka, the story with Hilmi Malka, famous uh queen from Khutzarts who became a Gyoras. Shahalak Pran Muhammad, her husband, her son went out to war and she took upon herself a vow. If my, if my son comes home alive from the war, Bisholom in peace, I'll be a Nazir for seven years. He came home safely. And she was a Nazir for seven years. And she, she had she had uh, already accepted upon herself, presumably gave her, so therefore the Nazir applied to her. Also, so she came there so after seven years. And they still uh, decreed that she should be. As they sold sheet is that you have to start the zeros all over again. So she had to do another seven years, a total of 14. Then he says the Tanakhama was so Shevashanam at the end of the seven years on Kutzlaretz, Nick Miss, she became Tomei, the Nims is Nazir, Esther Machashana. She had to do the whole seven years all over again because near the end of her Nazir, so the end of her Nazir, she's still in Nazira, she was Tomei, 
she became Tomei Mace, and she had to do the seven years to start all over again. So she did a total of 21 years. Amra Yudah. Rav Yudah says, well, he said, Azir Allah Abbas Rishana. She was only 14 years. Now, why did he say only 14 years? There's two ways to learn, or maybe three ways to learn, we'll see in the Gemara. First, the Gemara is like this. When you come to Eretz Yisrael, as a knas, you have to start all over again. Do you do, when you start off again, do you do 30 days? But Shami says, Basil says, no, you got to start all over again, the whole amount, whatever you whatever you take it upon yourself, a year, two years, whatever, 60 days, you got to do the whole thing again. What's the machlokis? Maybe this is the machlokis. Why were the go, why are the chum again? Just because you go into Eretz into Chosah doesn't mean you're really Tommy Menat Torah. What is it? What is it? Why are you Tommy? It's God's earth, but the concern is that maybe you touch the dead body of a goy. And the question is, would they go to Eretz Amishim Gusha because of the clods of earth? Because maybe you touched the dead body there. And that's less of a Chomer Velo Mishim Abir, not because just going through the air. And therefore, it's less, less of a, uh, it's not so Chomer. That's Beisham So Beisham says it's enough just to keep 30 days. Just going through the air, even if you flew in an airplane or a helicopter or a box or something, you know, it goes, even there, you're Tame, they're more Machmer. Maybe that's Machlok Sevir, why Beishamai says only 30 days. Beisol says the full amount because you're, the, the, the Zayra was even more stringent. Everybody holds this because of the Gush, because of the maybe, maybe you touched a dead body, because of the earth, a cloud of earth. And if you flew in in, a, in an airplane, you wouldn't be Tame. Everybody holds that. Beishami Sever, Bistam Nazir, Kanisna, Beisol Sever, Kikanisna, Betchil says there's a question simply, what was the Kanas? Everybody holds that the that the chumra that the rabbi said that if you go to chutzlar it's your tome. It's really only concerned because you touch something on the ground because of the gush, but uh, not because of the airspace. The question though is when they because they were gozer tome and chutzlar and you were in chutzlar when you took your zeros they gave you a fine and they said when you come to Israel you have to be an uzer again. But how much? Bishamay says not so much. Thirty days is enough. Basil said Basil says the full amount of your original zeros now. So the Tanakama said the story with Hilni and Malka was that she was in Azira for seven years when her son came home from the army. Then she came to Chutz Teretz Yisrael. Beisol told her to keep another seven years because that's the rule. Beisol rule, you got to start all over again when you're, when you're at Yisrael and you purify yourself. And then at the end of her 14th year, right, a total of Azira, the seven years in Eretz Yisrael, she became Tama, she had to start counting all over again. So it was a total of 21 years. So Beuda said, no, only 14 years. Why did Rabbi Yudah say only 14 years? Iboilu, says the Gemara. Is, is what happened was that she became Tame, meaning when? She became Tame at the end of her, she became Tame at the, on the last day of her Naziris and Eretz Yisrael. And therefore, what did she have to do? to become Tame on the last day. Rabbi Yudah holds the Tame the last day, you only keep 30 more days. So therefore, what was her total really? Like 14 years, yeah. seven years in Chutzlar, seven years in Eretz Yisrael, plus maybe plus another 30 days. days. Rashi says, whatever she did, she did 30 days. Not, not, not the, when she came to Eretz Yisrael, according to Beisham, you only have to keep 30 days. Beisham and Itmas, the Tumas Mes, and then what? Uh, she she always saw Lamin Kresha made it miss the Thomas mess while she was very days. The Sosras are called Asa Zayin Shan Machem Kibetchila. So is that what happened? In other words, what happened? She was she was seven years in Chutzlaretz. Then she came to Eretz Yisrael. What did Beisham say you have to do when you come to Eretz Yisrael? Thirty days. So she was doing the middle of the thirty days. She became Tame, and then that knocked off the whole thing. And she had to do the whole seven years over again. Is that what her beauty meant? Oh, do it. She never was Tameh at all. Very simple. She didn't become Tameh. We said that the story was different. The Tanakhama said she became Tameh in the middle of the seven years that Basil decreed upon her. And she had to do the whole seven years over again. In other words, it was like at the end of the of this first, end of the seven years in, in, in the 14th year, in the seventh, uh, the middle of the, or towards the end of her seven years in Eretz Yisrael that they sold decreed upon her, so she had to keep another seven years, a total of 21. Maybe what Rabbi Yudah is simply saying is, no, there was only 14 years. She never became Tame. She did seven years in Chutzlar, she came to Eretz Yisrael, they still said, do another seven years. So that was her 14. So is it very simple? That's when, you, when Rabbi Yudah said she only did 14. 
You know, she didn't do 21 years. He didn't mean like they saw. There was no Tom over here. She didn't become Tommy. He disagrees with the Tanakama. The story was she was seven years in the zero in, in Chuzlar. She came to Eretz Yisrael. Basil said, "Do another seven years as a knas for doing for becoming a nazir in Chuzlar, where is a, is a, it, there's a drop midrab on in your tummy. And that was it. She did another seven years. Her beauty was there, there was no tum over. She never became tummy in, in Eretz Yisrael. That's the second way to learn. So do you learn she became tummy in her thirty days, like Beis Shammai? Shammai says when you came to Eretz Yisrael, you only do thirty days, and According to Beis Shammai, even though the, the Tanakhama said she went like Beis Hillel, right? Beis, she, she came to Eretz Yisrael, Beis Hillel told her to keep seven years. She kept the seven years. And at the end of the seven years, she became Tommy again. So she had to do another seven years, a total of 21. Beis, and uh, Rabbi Yudas says, no, only 14. So the Pashup Shavi would be like Beis Hillel. She only kept 14. She didn't become Tommy at all. The first way to learn is no, that when she came to Eretz Yisrael, she only kept 30 days like Beis Shammai. And in that 30 days, she became Tommy. So she had to start all over again. And there you have to start all over again. That was seven years starting all over again, even though we don't know clearly that she came on the day that she finished her Nazirus with Chutzlaret, but somehow it all gets attached. It's one long thing. She has to start all over again. That's one way to learn. So Tashma, we'll see another way soon. Let's first say the Gemara Tashma. Also, Oretz, she came to herself. Basil told her to keep seven more years. If according she became Tame in the 30 days that she kept when she came to Eretz Yisrael, why do you say she was only a zero for 14 years? Uh, uh, should say, right, she kept, what happened? In the middle of her 30 days, according to Beishamai, she came to Eretz Yisrael, she had to keep 30 more days. In the middle of the day, she became Tame. So she had to start all over again and count seven more years, right? So it should be seven more years plus the 30 days. Right, because she finished, she had, she had to do 30 more days. If you look at it from the beginning, she was a chutzar at seven years, and Eretz Yisrael 30 days. She came tummy in the middle, so she had to keep 14 years and 30 days. Where's the 30 days? The Rebbe didn't mention anything about the Rebbe. It just said she only had 14 years. Elamai, it's mashma like Beis Hill, that the, the first way, the, well, the second way that he said it. He bought a little bishin with with Shammai. Oh, Mishlom is like Beis meaning went like Beis Hill. Rebbe was saying, like Beis Hill, she kept four, another seven years, but there was no 30 days. There was no tum at all. It was very simple. She kept seven years in Chutz Laaretz, and she kept seven years in Eretz Yisrael. Tanya Amiyachi, it's mashma that way because Rabbi Yudas Hashem of Lezer, the Omer Kra, Basik says Zos Taras Hanazir Biyom Laos Biyom Laos Nazirasa. What does it mean? A Torah Mekinit Biyom Laos. If she's tummy on her last day, Tain Lo Taras Nashi Yatki for thirty more days. So what happened was the story was that according to the Tanakama, she became tummy on the last day. Ochevnes Ubisof, the last day, right? She became Tome. According to Rabbi Yehuda, if she became Tome on the last day, she would only keep 30 more days. She would keep 30 more days. Some say that means that she would be 60 days, right? Because she had 30 days for coming into Eretz Yisrael. And then she would have to be, if she was Tome on the last day, she had another, another 30 days. So it would be 14 years plus 60 days, somewhat sort of that way. Rashi learns another whole, Rashi brings down a whole nother shot. First, he says, she came to Eretz Yisrael. She did the Sali of Shammai. Yachiy of Shavlami Yomi Boile. She had betoch lamed it, but she became tamei in the middle of thirty days, according to Beis Shammai, and she knocked that all off. Sasser calls Shem Lapreya Zayin Shem Lamed Yom. The seven day, seven years, the thirty days. In Cain Zayin Shem Lamed Yom, how you love She just counted seven years plus thirty days. El middle of Tani Hachi. El Yudal Shana. There's no thirty days. There's no thirty days. No six days. However you want to count it, uh, it's much like Beis Hillel. Then Rashi brings down another shot. Inyan Acher, Rashi about a third of the way down in the page. Ibailu, Hadar Rabbiuda Lois and Nazir Ali, if someone, Rabbiuda disagreed with the Tanakhani, he said she was only in Nazir for 14 years. Shenitmes O Tum Acheres, Besof Sheva Shanam, Rishonim. Maybe she became Tomei again. While she was in Chutzlar, she became Tomei. In other words, if she kept the rules of Nazir, which apply in Chutzlar, it's too. At the end of the first seven years, while she was in Chutzlar, she became Tomei. But not the very end, not the last day, because the last day would only require 30 more days. She became Tomei towards the end of the seven years. She came to Israel, she counted another seven years because she came up while she had to fulfill her first obligation. In other words, not because there's a new thing now. She started in Chutzlar, seven years. Towards the end of her seven years, she became Tomei. So she used to count another seven years, but she came to Eretz Israel in between. And she counted another seven years. So she designed Shem Rishanim. The recall the Nitzvah Shem Rishanim. And that's why Bishamah doesn't say she count thirty days because 
Not only is she counting 30 more days, she's counting seven more years when she came into Eretz Yisrael. The cycle of El Sinsham, she went to Samara, Tashma, no, also the Aretz. Isaac, like she did this, if you say she became Tame towards the end of her seven years, according to Beishamai, the Nitz of the Ansham turned the Chaz of Nitz, the Sof Yudalit, Kiramatanakama, the Yach Yudal Shafal Yam Shem Boyle, Rabbi Yudal, because Rabbi Yudal, it says, at the, if you saw like the Tanakama, the Tanakama says she became Tame at the very end of her, of her, of her years. And if that's what you mean, in other words, the question was, uh, I don't remember, you says, why is Nazir Yashan? Does it mean uh, she became Tomei on the last, towards the end of her Naziris in the She says, it can't mean that, because what he said was, Tanakam says she became Tomei at the end of her Naziris. And the end of Naziris, according to Yuri, would only require 30 more days. And he said, he doesn't mention anything about 30 more days. He mentions only 14 years. So therefore, therefore, uh, it's clear that it goes like, that he is going like base Hillel, Meaning that she kept seven years of Chutzlar, seven years in Eretz Yisrael, and that was it. And then the Tanya Namihachi works out better in the Gemara. Why? Because Tanya Namihachi said that if you become a Nazir on the last day, you only do 30 more days according to Rebuta in the name of Rebbelezer. So, so presumably Rebuta holds like Rebbelezer that if you become Tomei on the very last day, you'd only do 30 more days. So it doesn't make sense to say that she became Tomei on the last day in Chutzlar, because then she'll only do 30 more days, not seven years. So it's more Mashma like Face Hillo. That Rabbi was going like Beis Hillel that she kept, and when he says fourteen years, it's because she wasn't Tomei at all. He says he disagrees with the Tanakama with the story. The story of the Tanakama was what she was seven years of Chutzlars. She came to Eretz Yisrael. Beis says seven more years. Then she became Tomei at the end of the seven years, towards the end of seven years. She just started all over again, twenty-one years. Rabbi says no, she never became Tomei at all. Very simple. She was Chutzlars seven years. She came to Eretz Yisrael seven more years, and that's it. Says the Mishnah, Misha Yishtei Kitaidim. Now, what happens a person? We said before, I think that you don't have to be a Nazir, when you accept Nazir, you don't have to do it in front of Adam, but it could be there were Adam there. Or maybe you said you're a Nazir, you were, you know, you're a little bit uh, off kilter and you uh, said you're gonna be a Nazir, you forgot what you said. Now there were a bunch of witnesses there. Two witnesses, Misha, you take it to Adam, meet us also. Two people said, there were two, there were two groups of, of Adam. Let's say there were four people. Number one and number two said, Number one, number two said he only that he accepted his ears for two years. The Elum Adam The other number three and number four, those witnesses said no. He said five years. He's going to be in five years. And he, what does he himself say? He doesn't know. He forgot, or he's quiet. He doesn't. He doesn't know. He's confused. There's no Adam over here because there. Since they contradict one another, the first set of Adam said two years. The second set of Adam say five years. They contradict one another, they knock each other off, and there's no way this. And if he doesn't know what he did, he's not a Nazar at all. Because he doesn't remember any, he doesn't accept, he doesn't remember accepting any Nazirs upon himself. Sometimes you forget things. But ain't kind of zero, says the Tanakama, uh, says, says the says the says the author of our Mishnah, ain't kind of zero. That's I mean that's Bishamai. Bishamai says, we so love him, yesh bakal chamesh shine, shehe nazir shine. No. The one who said five years also agrees that number three, number four say five years. They also agree that he's at least for two years. You can't say he's not an usher at all. All three, all four witnesses say that he was an usher for at least two years, except number three, number four say five, and number one, number two say two. It's like a case uh, of, of, of Dinah when, uh when two items say that Ruben owes Shimon $100, and two other items say Ruben owes Shimon $200. What did I say? $100, $200, right? Hundred dollars and two hundred dollars. They both agree. They also release hundred dollars. Same thing over here. Two years. That's based on the sheet. It's interesting that they tell them it's machmir. Yeah, yeah. In a way, or it's not just like a chumr. I think it's just. I don't think it's a chumr so much in this case. I don't think it's so more years Simply, it's good. Was, right, right, right. Okay, that's a question. Right. You know, there, so they like you could say that's chumr. So you could just say what well, was the tekana. Right. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. I don't think this is a chumr. This is more like what was the lost yesh bechal manam shan. Depends how you, you look at it. It's a cool to the guy receiving the money. <laughs> you know what I mean? But if it's a case but of that, money, this, of no, theory. it's the concept of yesh bechal, uh, yesh bechal masayim mana. Included in two hundred dollars is also one hundred dollars. It's included in there. All right. Mish doesn't go like the Tan Tan. Tanya Mishma Baruch Hashem Yachim Rov Gomer. He says differently. He says, listen. Lo nechli b'sham esel lo stekidim. If there's four witnesses up here, two witnesses say two years, two witnesses say five years. Achas Omeris. If there's if there's two sets of witnesses. One says two years, one says five years. Everybody agrees that you know there's four witnesses over here to talk about two years. Two witnesses say two years, two witnesses say five years. Everybody agrees that he has to be another for at least two years because he has witnesses on it. It was only one 
pair of witnesses, one group of witnesses, meaning one pair. Echad, one person, Elmerstein, one person says two years. Echad, Omer Chamesh, there, the Shabbashami Om, Nechbashami say they can't drink one another, and there's no, he's not a, a Nazar at all. They say, Omer, Yesh Bechal, Chamesh Bashami. And as that cloud of Yesh Bechal, Masayim Mona, is based on Shita, whether it's money or anything else. So the same thing over here. So Basil says Yesh Bechal. So what? And our town of our mission says, the Machlokas is even when two witnesses say one way, two witnesses say the other way. Rabbi Shmuel ben Oshe ben Ochem Belka says, no, if two witnesses say one way, two witnesses say the other way, everybody agrees on the minimum of two years. The Machlokas is only when it's one against one, okay? Because here you don't even have two witnesses saying the same thing, right? You have, you do have, even Basil says, you do have two witnesses saying two years. It's just one says two years, one guy says two years, one guy says five years. That's the Machlokas here. Omarab, Hakom Modim Bamona. Everybody's moda that they're contradictory and the Aedis doesn't stand if he counts them out. What do you mean by counting them out? So we're going to say now what that means. I'm going to look at the Michael. What do you mean by that? Elaine, when you say counting them out, you're enumerating them. One guy says it was five years. It was, again, we're talking about everybody's moda when there are two people, Echad Omer, two witnesses. One says it was five years, and one, and he says it wasn't two years, it was five years. The other guy says, no, Stein below Chamesh, it was two years and not five years. So then how come actually they clearly it was the Khish that like Rashad's Pshitas for sure. In other words, <laughs> you can't say Yesh Bachal Mana uh Masai Mana if one guy says the, the Nazar himself, the person himself doesn't have any idea what he said. He doesn't think he said anything, or he doesn't know what he said. And one guy comes along and says, You said you're going to be a Nazar for two years, not five. Two years. I know it wasn't five. The other guy says, No, it was five, not two. So what each guy says is contradicted by another. The guy who says two years contradicts the guy who said five years, because the guy who said five years said not two years. And the guy who said two years said, The guy who said five years said five years, not two years. So they're silly contradicting one another. Then it's obvious. One guy said, One guy said, he accepted two Nazirises, one for a year and then for another year. The guy said, no. The other guy said, he accepted Naziris a third time, a fourth time, and a fifth time. He didn't mention the first and the second. He just said he mentioned Naziris a third, a fourth, and a fifth. Now, that's a little bit more, you know, that's a little more difficult to say that they knock out one another. Because when he said a third, a fourth, and a fifth, he's, he's saying, he's implying that there was a first and a second, Right. So that's where the, the that's where the two people are counting each other. So now the Gemara goes on, and it depends how you have a gear sub. Two ways to learn this Gemara. It looks easy, but it's not. The Gemara says, "Now hold on, Ali. What is he teaching me?" I'm learning the way the gear is in our Gemara and the way Rashi learns. Alamali, what do you need to teach me this for? That kind of If Rob said. Even in a more humor, even in a more stringent case, he said that it's not considered a Naziris at all. So kill so low Amar. What do we mean by that? Take a look in Rashi here. Uh, it's more chumadik. In other words, we agree that when there's two people saying one thing and two people saying the other, that's that's more of a stronger case for him being a Nazir. One group, one set of the eight, one set of the witnesses says, Shtayim. Vishniya and Achishan, one guy, one group says he did a Nazir, he accepted Naziris once for one year and for another year. And the other one says, the other group, the other set of two says he accepted Naziris a third or fourth and a fifth year. Shamila Rav, Nechagus, and their Rav already, even when there's two witnesses on each side, Rav says Nechagus and it's contradictory and you don't accept it at all. So the kills over here in the less, in the less stringent case, in the more lenient case, where there's only one guy against one guy, and certainly a pshita vadi amar. Where Rashi goes on as we begin the narrow lines in Rashi. Where do we hear the Rav said this? There he quotes the same Mishnah, our Mishnah. He quotes our Mishnah. The Kesiva says like this: We learned over there, meaning in Nazir, in in Bavli, our Mishnah here on Davchav. So two sets of witnesses were testifying about this guy. One guy, one group said he was us for two years. That's our mission, right? That they contradict one another. But so says no. No, everybody says that. Everybody agrees that everybody agrees that there's at least two years here. 
Ba'oma Rav, and Rav says over there in Yerushalmi, Rav says there, the Chlal Nechku, there's a Machlokas, is only B'Shamay Silo if they're talking about a Chlal, meaning when they're talking about five versus two. Avil B'Prad, if they start enumerating, one guy says he accepted his years for one year and another year, and the other guy says third year, fourth year, fifth year, and everybody says Nechku So what do you see Rav says over here? That everybody agrees that if you're enumerating, one guy says he accepted it for one year and another year and his years. So the other guy said he accepted his years for a third year, a fourth year, and a fifth year, that that's certainly contradictory. And Rav's saying that even where, and it's not in zero at all, even when it's two against two. So certainly when it's one against one, Rabbi Elchon always says no. Rabbi Elchon is going more like, like uh, Rabbi Shmuel and Agamara, the Frat Nechlatu. The Machlokas is where it's one and two, verses three, four. Machlal, Yesh Bachal Chamesh Taim, Shei Nazir Taim, Shei Nazir. Shtayim. And what is it? What is Prat? Prat going Shach Sameris Achas Shtayim Vashni Omeris Gimel Dalit. Klal Shach Sameris Shtayim Vashni Omeris Omeris Chamesh. In other words, the Klal's were, were just as one guy says two years, one guy says five years. The Prat is where they enumerate it. One guy says he accepted his years for one year, year one and year two, and one says for year three, four, and five. Not that Rabbi Yochanan is like Rabbi Shmuel necessarily, because Rabbi Shmuel said, "On Nachuk B'Shem Yisrael Shteki Dei Achas Sameris Shtayim Achas Sameris Chamesh." Sheish B'chashem Dei is for only two years. Rabbi Yochanan says. The machlokas is like Av Lachal Yesh B'chal Maybe maybe Rabbi Yochanan is going a little bit like Rabbi Shmuel that everybody agrees uh, that one guy says five, one guy says two, that he's at least two years. But the machlokas is by prop. But what Rav says everybody agrees that what the, what did Rav say? There's Av Lachal the vehicle Nechlu Edus that is no contrary. That's contradictory. So the Gemara is asking now over here, what is what is uh, Rav telling us? Rav says Hakol Modem B'mona. So, 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 what do you mean, Bamona? Uh, it doesn't mean where one guy says one and two, one guy says one year and two year. Okay? It's one against one. <laughs> what do I have to, what does Rav tell me for? <laughs> Rav said it even where it's two against two, where two guys said one and two, and two other guys said three, four, and five. There, Rav said that it's Nechlin Yusin, that it's contradictory, and he's not another at all. So, kills you where it's only one guy against one guy with the same arguments. Low, uh, low, so certainly would say, so what does he teach me? The Gemara doesn't answer the Kasha. Amim Rav and Eretz Yisrael, they said, ain't a Kasha B'mona. Just that, that's the opposite. That when you're counting them out, there is no a Kasha. That's not contradictory. Why? Because when the guy says, one guy says one and two, he was, he was another for one year and two years. The other guy says he was another for years three, four, and five. So he's obviously implying that there was a year one and two also. Because <laughs> he said he was another for three, four, and five. For two years, because two people are testifying that it's not for two years. That's why I've explained the way Rashi learns that the Gemara says, But Tosas has the gear so that he doesn't have the words Amarav. In the top line on this page on, in the Gemara, the last word Amar, the first of the second line, Rav, he takes out those words. His Halomali. He's asking like this, Kasha. Halomali, Hashish Hamachemir to kill Solo Amar. Take a look in Tosa, the second Tosa on the page. Yesh Hamachemir to Amar, and he says, "Halgasin Hasu Lomali, Yesh Hamachemir to Amar kill Solo Amar." But look, I've seen Amar Rav. Look up here, Shdeparch. Am I Kamar? That because why do you say it's a Kasha? Why do you say Kasha? Mishum Mimin Kivin does the Amar Shal Shavu Chamesh. V'lo Amar Gam Achas Shtaim. It's like he said the Pharish. V'lo Achas Shtaim. No sir, am I? And my name, uh, and my name of love, a kosha, umashla, you can say it's not a kosha, umashla, uhiskir, achas, vishnah. Now, the question is not that Rob, like Rashi learned that Rob, what is Rob to tell me this for? It's obvious. If he says two against two by Mona, it does, it's a kosha, certainly when it's one against one. Now, the Gemara is asking us, no, not, not a kosha on Rob. The question is, why is that the halacha? Why do you say that if uh, if one guy said one and two, and one guy said three, four, and five, that they're makvish? Name the love kasha. Mashli is kasha shtayim. Malaska chamirta. What does he have to say? Uh, what uh, uh, what does he have to mention for the malalaska chamirta? And shasu v'maysh amar kilsalo kilsalo lo lo amar. In other words, one guy says, you know, he's a nazir for years. He t- I heard him say one year and two years. The other guy comes like says, no, even more, three, four, and five. So when you say three, four, and five, you're implying there's one and two also. So why do you say they're contradicting the amar? It's not a question. Now, the Tosa learns the Gemara exactly the opposite of Rashi. Rashi learns that what did Rav have to tell me this for? If he told me in a more Chumridic case where it's two against two, then it's a question and, and there's no Zerus at all, certainly when it's only one against one. 
The way Tosis is learning, no, no, no. Why did Rav say this? Like Chasha? When one guy says you're another for one year, he's another for one year, one and year two. And the other guy says, no, I heard him say for th- the third year, the fourth year, the fifth year as well. He's implying that one year, two years is also another. So it's like he's saying, therefore, he is another for two years. And then the Gemara works out better. I'm a Rav and Eretz Yisrael, and they said, ain't that Chasha Mona? When you count them out, one guy says one and two, and one guy says three, four, and five, that's not contradictory, and he is a Nazir for the two years, for the first two years. Hanlach Misha Amar, this that concludes the third parrot. Misha Amar, a rainy Nazir. Now we mentioned these cases before we had it in the Dar. Misha Amar Nazir Vishama Khaver Va Amar Baani Baani Kul Nazirum. Now let's understand something. What happened? Let's say Reuben Shimon Alevi. Reuben said, I'm a Nazir. Shimon said, Me too. Baani, Baani. And Levi said, Baani. Me also. Me too. Right? They're all in the Zerum, right? They're all in the Zerum. Okay? Because I'm like you. It's like, or we guess, Baani Kamoso. Putra Rishon, if the first one had Tar Sadarm, Hatar Sadarm, what does that do? Does that annul the Nebel Mafreya or only Mikana Laba? Tar Sadarm knocks it off of Mafreya. So if the first guy's, Reuben said, I'm an Ozer. And Shimon said, Me too. I'm like you. Well, if Reuben's Nazirus gets canceled, so does Shimon's. So does Levi's. Okay? Now, Hutter Rishon, Hutter Kulin, Hutter Achan, if the last one, let's say Levi got a Hatar Sadarm, so Achim Mutter, Bukomasurim. Then Levi's got a head sir, but not Reuben and Shimon. Reuben was a Nazir. Shimon was like Reuben. And as we'll see, Levi is also like Reuben. Okay, now, the Gemara is going to debate <laughs> why does it say Va'ani, Va'ani? Why does it say Va'ani, Va'ani, Va'ani? Is there like 100 people? So we'll see okay, that it could be, okay, but it could be. The Gemara is going to talk about that it has to be Tok Kadeh What does that mean? That it only works Va'ani if it's Tok Kadeh So if they're all talking about Reuben, listen carefully. Reuben says, I'm a Nazir. And Shimon says, I'm like you, Reuben. And Levi says, I'm like you, Reuben. It only works with three people, Reuben, Shimon, Levi. Because if it would be a Huda there, number four, he wouldn't be Toch Kedai Dibur because they were, they were saying things consecutively. Toch Kedai Dibur means enough for three words. So you count Reuben's Ani Nazir, Shimon Ani, Levi Ani. So Toch Kedai Dibur of Reuben. If they're going on the previous guy, Right, when Shimon says, I am like you, Reuven, and Levi says, I'm like you, Shimon, and you says, I'm like you, Levi, as long as he's the only has to be a bird in front of the guy in front of him. So you can go on for a thousand people if each guy said it about the guy prior to him. But from my mission, the match smash was we'll see. Ba'ani, ba'ani, only those cases work. That's what we're going to say. They're both going on Reuven. That's why it's only two additional people, Le- uh, Levi and Shimon. Okay. Omar, and the other guy said, Piv, Kipiv. My mouth is like his mouth, meaning he can't drink wine, like his mouth, like just like his mouth can't drink wine, me neither. The sorry, because or he says, My hair is like his, just like he can't cut his hair, I can't cut mine. That's also a way of setting the zeros. Harani knows her, let's say Sam knows of Shama Ishto and his wife heard, but Amra Bani and she said, I'm also in the zero. May for a shalom, he could break her netter because he has the power to do that. Her netter and the zeros is a kind of a netter, even though he said the is also like a shwa, but this is like he could break her shwa or her netter, right? He can break her netter going forward, right? The Shalokayim and his is his stands because he's uh, unless he goes to Tarsadar. Let's say she says Hareini Nazir. She says I. She started off by saying I'm in Azira. Vishomal her husband heard Vamer Vaani me too. Not only is he a Nazir, but he's confirming hers. Then he can't break it. And Yochalayfer, he can't break hers anymore because he confirmed it. Remember, once you confirm your wife's netter, you can't break it anymore. We learned that in the Dharma. Hareini Nazir Vaat. Let's say he says I'm in Azir. What about you? Ba'at, as a question mark. He didn't say, I'm an Uzzer and you too, you better accept it. And she's okay, okay, I'll do it. She, he asked her, Ba'am Ramein, and she said, yes, I agree. May for Shalom, because she accepted it on her own. He could still break hers for Shalom time. His, his stands till he gets the Tosh Norm. Harain Nazira, Ba'ata. Let's say she says, I'm an Uzzer. She says that, Ba'ata, what about you? Ba'am Ramein, he says, yes, me too. And you'll have forget that because he's confirmed hers by accepting his. Yes, Rabbi Shakhtar and Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Shakhtar is sitting in front of Rabbi Yehuda to see, in front of Rabbi Yehuda to see. Rabbi Yehuda sees Jew, which means Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda Nasi's uh, grandson. The Yos of a comedy said like this: "Vehu shetfiso kol metok te dibor." This that it works when the first guy said, "I'm Reuben," said, "I'm an Ozer," and Shimon and Levi each said, "Vaani vaani." It only works when each one attached himself. Vehu shetfiso kol metok te dibor. They all had to say "tok te dibor." In other words, where Shimon and Levi each said "vaani" to Reuben. Talk they did or in the middle of talk they did. Talk they did is why you're speaking. He brings out the Rashi's, you know that that what's the Indian of talk they did or 
that, as we'll see in a minute, because you have to, I, I, oh, let's just finish these lines. But Kama, how much is Toch De Dibor? Kadei Sheilas Shalom. Enough to say, to greet somebody. Kama Kadei Sheilas Shalom. Kadei Sheomer Shalom Talmud Larav. See, Shalom, Shalom is, you could just say, Shalom Alecha, right? But you say, if you a Talmud to his Rebbe says, what does he say? Shalom Alecha Rebbe. You have to say, greet your Rebbe properly. So it's three words. Okay, three words. Shalom Alecha Rebbe. Rebbe Amari, but you could say, Shalom Alecha Amari. It's three words. Shalom Alecha Rebbe. So, the Racham gave that, 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 that kind, because that's the time that's talked to the evil. While you're speaking to someone, let's say you're discussing something and your Rebbe walks by, you interrupt to say Shalom Alecha Rebbe, and then you go back to your topic. So it's like, talk today. While you're speaking, you say to your Rebbe, talk to Ibn. So it only works if you said it in that time. If you said by me later on, a minute later, or a half a minute later, you know, maybe you're talking about something else. So it only works. Rish like you said this in front of Yudasia, but he said, like what? Who should be so talk de Dibo or Kulan talk de Dibo? Yeah, it makes sense of Yudasia as the grandson because I don't think Rish Lakish saw Rebbe. Rebbe was the end of the Tanam, Rish Lakish was later on. So, okay, so who should be so Kulan but talk de Dibo? The Kamal talk de Dibo, Kadeshon, Shalom, Kamal Kadesh, Shalom, Kadesh, Omer, Shalom, Shalom, Tamar. There's Tamar the Rab. Omer lay, so if Yudas said to him, Tuv lo shafkas rafkal tamida. Yes, like, since that, from there, shuv. After that, you haven't left any space for the Talmud. What does that mean? You haven't space left any space that he can say only those words. Rashi says that he's not arguing. Some say that he's arguing with Rish Lakish. The uh, Rashi ones no. The lay malay, the lay You've only given room to say those three words. Not that he should say more. El Kamash saying, you know. That's it. All, all you could say is Shomel Rebbe, but he has no space if he's middle of learning something else. That's the only time. That's the only time that you've given to say that this is the time limit. As if to say that the Talmud, uh, you're not giving him any more space to say Shomel Rebbe Va'ani, or you know that, you know, or he's just saying that you can't. You, you haven't given any more space uh, for a Talmud to say more than those words. If, if I'm learning Bechavrus and my Rebbe walks back and says Shomel Rebbe, I don't have time to say. And how is your wife, or how are the kids, or something like that? That's it, you know. And he's agreeing with him. That's all. That's it. Shalom Rebbe is the only thing you could say. And that's considered the time, the interval for which, you know, two people are talking. That it's the same topic. If you go, if it's more than that, you've gone off topic, so to speak, and you're you're in the wrong area, right? So So that's that's the amount. Tanya Namihaki. We have a prices also that what that they have to all they all have to catch their words in order for the second and the third people to be. Uh, Nazirim, like Reuven, uh, they have to say it tok de dibor. Misha Marini Nazir. Reuven says, I'm a Nazir. Misha Machavero. Shimon heard. Misha Kidei Dibor. He waited long enough to say something more than tok de dibor. Misha Kidei Dibor, like you have a longer conversation. In other words, the Shomel of Rebbe is not considered an interruption. It's just a little tiny interval that you're allowed to interrupt. That's like, you know, we split for a second, you know, for a couple of seconds. But this guy waited longer than that Kidei Dibor. Vamar Bani. Who was for Chavimot? Only Ruben's a Nazir. Shimon's not because he waited too long. Kama kadei dibo kadei shel shalom. Talmud Rav. Enough for a Talmud to say to his Rebbe Shalom Lecha Rebbe. Lei Messiah Lei. Lachar we have a proof from our Mishnah. Why? Because our Mishnah said how many people said attached themselves to the first Nazir? Two. Ruben said I'm a Nazir. Shimon and Levi said Vani Vani. What about Yehuda? Why doesn't it say Vani Vani? Why don't you list a whole bunch? Lei Messiah Lei. Misha Mareni Nazir. Our Mishnah. The guys who run them and others, Shema Chaveir v'Amar Vani, Vani, and Shimon heard said Vani, Levi heard said Vani. V'Sulo doesn't have doesn't say Yehuda and Yisachar and Zvul doesn't say it went down the road more. Why? Because if you, if Yehuda would say Vani subsequently to Levi, it's already too long. There's already been three three words were said. Reuben said Nazir, I'm an already Nazir. Shimon said Vani, Levi said Vani. That's already tough to deal Yehuda is too long. That's why the Mishnah says Vani Vani. Says Gemara, no. Tana ki ruchu lechshiv So no. Is it Tana peddler who's going to list them all? Could be that our Mishnah means, and maybe maybe based on our Mishnah you could say no. It doesn't have to be talked Maybe a hundred people could say consecutively one after another. Reuben, Reuben said I'm an Nazir. Shimon said me too. Levi said me too. Yudah said me too. Yisachar said me too. Shimon said me too. All the way down, down to the grandchildren. Everybody said me too. Maybe that maybe it all works. But you expect the Tana to list them all? He's not a peddler saying, you know, I got, I have these wares to sell. I got cups and I got saucers and I got needles. You know, he's not listing everything. So, 
And so then if that's the case, just say Vani. Why? If you're if you're trying to say that it doesn't have to be tough day board. It's just whoever says, I attach myself to Ruben, it all it's good. So let's say chad, what's the gear sub? Just say one. Why did it say vani vani? Why don't you say vani? That's enough. Uh, so uh, you could have done that. And we should be kind of safe. The reason he didn't, the reason he listed three people, Reuben, Shimon, and Levi, is because the Sefer. Because the Sefer says, Hutter Arishon, Hutter Kulan, if Reuben gets a Tar Star, they're all knocked off because they attach themselves to his Naziris. Hutter Achor, and if Levi got a Tar Star, or Achor Motor, or Kulan, or the other ones are also, because he talked about the first one and the last one, Mashma, that there's also somebody in the middle, right? And we should Machik Tani Vani Vani. That's why he says Vani Vani to tell me that there's three. In other words, that if the first guy take gets rid of his zeros, the second and third fall off. If the third one uh, gets rid of his zeros, the first one and the second one are there. And as we'll see later on, when there's other cases where there's many people, let's say one of the middle ones got a tarsadarim, and the, uh, the the lower ones attach themselves to the one prior to him, not to the original Ruben, Then, if you always attach yourself to the prior one, so anyone, let's say there were ten guys. First guy said, I'm a Nazar. Number two said, I'm like number one. Number three said, I'm like number two. Number four said, I'm like number three, and so on and so forth. If number six got a Tarsadarim, so seven, eight, nine, and 10 are all free. But number one, we had, the case, we had to refer to that case before. We're going to see that later on. Is our Misha talking about when he said, Vani, Vani, on Ruvain? That's one way to learn, right? That they said that everybody has to be talk de Dibor. Yes, talk de Dibor if they say, Vani, on Ruvain. But if Vani, Vani is going, Ani is going on Ruvain. But the second, the Vani of Levi is not going on Ruvain, but he's saying Vani to Shimon, then you could have another one following that, right? You could have Yehuda following that because then you start with Shimon and then you get Levi and Yehuda. Levi and Yehuda could both say, I'm like Shimon. Or if Yehuda is going like Levi and, uh, and Yisachar is going like uh, Yehuda, then it can go on down the line. You could have a million of them. If each one's going like the one prior to him and each one is talked to Deba of the first one. You can't prove for my mission though, either way. All right, we'll pick it for me, boy, Lou, tomorrow. Have a good day, everybody. Shavuot, though.